Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lord back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the South Node intercepted in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, the South Node, I mean, I should say, an interception occurs when you have all 30 degrees of a sign enclosed inside a house cusp. Now, if you have uh, in, an interception in a sign, planet, energy, or what have you, that's, it generally will suppress and obstruct that energy and it won't be expressed as easily as opposed to it not being in an interception. And the energy can be a little bit more internalized as opposed to expressing it outwardly. Now, with the South Node intercepted, a lot of you know that the South Node is connected with our natural attributes and abilities. It's kind of like a complacency spot, I, I believe, in our horoscope. It's the kind of that spot where we like to fall back on and we like to go to constantly. It can be a redundant spot, but it can show, as I stated before, to things that we're naturally inclined or have an inclination or predilection for. It's something that we have could have strong abilities in. Unfortunately, it becomes somewhat of a redundant spot at around age 30 or so approximately in our lives and we often uh, divert to the North Node for the actual fulfillment. Now, somebody has it intercepted, it might be a little bit harder to access these natural attributes and the, the gifts that are indicated by the South Node placement as far as the sign and house goes. Now, it could also indicate that the person has, may have more difficulty, perhaps, in uh, moving onto the North Node and integrating the South Node, at least a little bit, with the North Node energy later on in their lives. And this could be uh, something where this person might have might be still aware of these gifts and these in the basic I mean the south node by house sign by the sign and house will still apply but these abilities may not be tapped into as early in the person's life as, as, as generally would be it might take a little longer to access these things and and as I stated before it might take a little bit longer to perhaps uh, get away from them to some degree and emphasize or accentuate the North Node in a person's horoscope. Now, I have a couple of examples I want to give you as far as the South Node being intercepted. I'm going to give you uh, what I have in my natal chart. I have the South Node intercepted. I have it intercepted in Virgo in the fifth house and this could indicate that I have a thing for intellectual, analytical uh, amusement, and it may figure prominently uh, in my life. Uh, a lot of you may know I do the NFL prediction videos on uh, another channel, and a lot of this is connected with speculation and enjoyment and being detail-oriented and research, and a lot of this, is, I believe, is attributed to me having the South Node in Virgo in the fifth house. Now, uh, it could indicate I have a natural ability for detail-oriented uh, endeavors and have a lot of fun in doing so and, and be very enamored with this. Now, with the interception, it indicates there may have been a delay in this to some degree in, in these abilities. And on the, on the negative side, a south node in Virgo in the fifth house may be somewhat judgmental of perhaps uh, romantic partners or prospective romantic partners and I might be even very self-critical of my own creative abilities and this could be something which might create more difficulty in getting uh, away from perhaps due to the fact that this was intercepted and maybe perhaps due to the fact that it might have taken longer to, to access these abilities and may also take a little bit longer to perhaps not get away from completely or eradicate them but what I'm saying is get uh, get away from it to some degree to emphasize uh, the North Node placement by house and 
in sign. So another example, let's take somebody that has the south node in Taurus in the 10th house intercepted. Now, the person with this placement uh, may have a natural ability uh, for persistence in career-related matters. Uh, the person may work laboriously uh, in their vocation. Uh, stability, loyalty, steadfastness may be emphasized with supervisors. And uh, with the interception, though, the person may have a little bit more difficulty in accessing these attributes and abilities. And it may also be hard, harder for the person to get away from, I guess you could say, like this comfort area. And the person might become somewhat stagnant in this because even though Taurus is known to be loyal and steadfast, it could also be a sign that has difficulty in maybe letting things go and perhaps moving forward. And I mean, I understand because I have Taurus rising, so if anyone can tell you about Taurus characteristics, it's me. So, and, uh, and this person may have trouble getting away from their north node, south node in Taurus, at least to, to some degree, not completely eradicating it, but getting away from the south node in Taurus so they can emphasize their north node placement. So that is uh, something uh, to consider with when you have south node interceptions. Now, the good news is by progression in a progress chart for most people that it will move, uh, the interception will move out of the interception phase by progression. However, you're still going to have it in your chart because what is in your chart natally stays there for the rest of your life. So the fact that it moves out of interception by progression, it means uh, it's not going to eradicate the effects completely of the interception, but it may help alleviate it to some degree and give you better capability of dealing with uh, the interception at a later, later point in your life when it does move out of the interception phase. Well, anyway, people, That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment of the South Node Intercepted in a Natal Chart. And stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about Chiron Intercepted in a Natal Chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.